What do you like at your nine times tables? You're pretty good. Okay, let's see how good you are. I'll give you a question and answer it as rapidly as you can. Call it out loud. Three nines. 27, you're correct. Another one. Five nines. 45, right once again. And here's a third one. Six nines. If you said 54, that's not the answer I wanted. Six nines are 100. You're saying he's crazy. Six nines can be 100, particularly if you arrange them correctly. Have a look at this. If I put two of those six nines on the top line of a fraction and two of them on the bottom, I have 99 ninety ninths. And that, of course, makes one, just as five fifths, six sixths, twenty twentieths, or anything else makes one. Now, I've used up one, two, three, four nines. We're talking about six nines, so I need two more to add somewhere. What if I make them two big ones and put them here and here? We have 99 and 99 ninety ninths. That's 99 and 1, that's 100. So six nines do make 100. But there's another way of arranging six nines to make 100. See if you can think of it as I'm doing it. If you take two of the nines and if you multiply them together, what have you got so far? 81. Then add another nine. What are you up to now? 90. Now add another nine not just by itself, but also with a little fraction next to it, and 9 ninths. And what have you got now? 81, 90, 99, and 9 ninths, that's 1. That gives you a total of 100. So 6 nines can be 100.